All right, guys, what's going on? It's JT here with Triple Crown 24, and take a look at where I'm at. I'm in Grove City, Ohio today. Not too far away, about an hour and a half, I want to say, from where I'm at, maybe a little bit less, depending on traffic, if you're not stuck behind very slow semi-truck says I have. So here you see up front here, entrance to the shop, very nice. Here's the new uh, release calendar you see here with all of it. I believe it's a touch screen so you can actually take a look at the new products. A couple of pictures here and step inside. Got some merchandise, probably hit that up here in a minute. All your Tatis fans, a little recording room in here. Soundproof, very nice. Got your supplies, relax. My favorite place, the dollar boxes, of course. And Michael Jordan Love here, too. All right, guys. Well, I'm back in the car now, and I'm going to try to make this kind of quick because I had to turn the AC off. My mount is right next to the AC, uh, and it is 90 degrees here in Ohio today, so it's it's a bit hot. Um, Ryan's shop is fantastic, and I actually brought my mail along with me today on this little road trip I'm taking this weekend. Uh, so I figured I would go ahead and share some of my mail. Uh, as well as what I picked up at Ryan's shop. So I just gave you the tour there to uh, start things off. This seller used scotch tape, bummer. Um, so these are the two cards I got that weren't from Ryan's shop. First one up, 2021 Finest Green Refractor for the Miggy PC. Was at 29.54 as of yesterday. Had a video planned for yesterday, but ran out of time. Uh, was trying to get everything in order before I went up here for the weekend. And then uh, this one is actually from um, Two Bros. <laughs> it took me a while. It's right there on the sticker. But the Legacies insert, this is the gold refractor. These parallels on the uh, on the inserts are pretty tough this year from what I've seen. I've, I've watched a few cases of Finest Open. I uh, was fortunate enough to crack some myself, and uh, man, it's a rough go of things, let me tell you. So that's two more right there, and I did manage to pick up a few at his shop. Uh, I just realized that I forgot to buy some of the merchandise, but next time I'm up here, I'll have to grab a t-shirt or something. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and show off some of the cards I bought. So for the Miggy PC, these were all just in the, the various value boxes. Picked up this uh, Absolute Relic, numbered to 49 here. So, uh, actually, most of the Miggies that I found I did not have, which is, that's always a plus. The first trick sometimes, at, especially at shows, has been finding them. Uh, the second challenge is making sure they're ones I don't have. He had this green ice. I know there's a lot of glare here because of the sun and the, uh, the hotness. Also, if you I don't know if you can hear this or not, but... There are a lot of cicadas here. Um, there's a lot of buzzing that's going on, especially if you get closer to the highway. So uh, when I was driving up here, I thought there was like a loose wire in the car or something because I was like, man, this is really loud and concerning. Um, and then I also got this one right here out of Museum Collection 2020, just the standard relic. So five new ones in the PC today. That brings me to... 
29.59, now 41 away from that 3,000 mark. A few little oddball things. I just thought this was a good value. It's the Jeff McNeil Heritage Mini. These are numbered to 100. Tougher pulls, uh, just kind of stuff that I like to put in the store. Good values. Kind of the same thing here. Shout out to all my uh, Red Sox fans out there. Little Devers Hollow from Contenders Optic. A lot of these 18 Chronicles baseball cards, especially Soto and Acuna. They're crazy. Uh, I remember seeing them in like value boxes at the show two years ago. And now they are, uh, you're not going to find them in value boxes. They're going to be in showcases. So crazy. And then uh, Eric Hayes, autograph from 2020 Optic. He's with Cleveland here, but he was um, dealt to the Tigers in the offseason. I forget if it was a waivers claim or if they just got him, you know, kind of for cash considerations one of those types of deals but he's been great uh i think his ops is like 1100 or something so he's had a very solid uh tenure with the tigers so far he's been hitting cleanup in the lineup most days at this point and uh and he's he's good um so a couple of the the higher end pickups as well uh you got this Owed a little favor to my buddy Mike, baseball collector. So this is heading his way. Little Bill Mazeroski. I believe this is the last one he needs for this player run. So grab that little gift. And then, uh, man, I'm <laughs> I ended up buying a, a box of Leaf Metal Draft football. And the reason why is that a couple of the guys who were in there behind the counter were like, man, I I've had some bad luck picking boxes and they wanted to rip something. They're like, nah, I don't think, I don't feel like there's anything in these leaf boxes. And I, I was just overhearing this while I was going through the dollar boxes. And uh, one of the guys had picked out um, a couple boxes for Ryan to rip. He was ripping in his recording studio while I was going through the dollar boxes. And I said, you know what? I'm going to try one of these boxes because you guys said there wasn't anything in there. And luck was on my side. There was something in there. Justin Fields. Very appropriate since I'm about 15, 20 minutes away from Ohio State's campus. Of course, I'm a OSU alumni, so particularly enjoy that. They hooked me up with the One Touch, which is much appreciated. That one's numbered to 30. Really good looking card. Can't go wrong with Justin Fields. So that was it. Um, it was a fun little trip to Ryan's shop today. Hopefully be back next week with a couple of videos. I do have at least one PSA reveal coming up. And uh, hopefully I can make it back up here. His next trade night is in early July. So tentatively going to try to put that on the calendar. We'll see if it pans out. But uh, his trade night is, is a lot of fun. And there, you've probably seen some pictures of it on social media. Uh, maybe some videos as well. So go check out Ryan. He's card collector too. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who he is. One of my biggest inspirations for uh, doing what I do in the hobby. Uh, in terms of the, the dealer side of things and uh, just had to stop by and check out the new shop today so go check them out and uh, if you're in the area highly recommend checking out the shop as well so uh, it's been six and a half minutes on this part of the video and I am sweating profusely in this uh, Ohio humidity so I will see you guys next time take care stay safe be kind